here with Colton E. Bagay, you've been here at the 846 now. Tell us what you're feeling, man. What's your life going after playing around the crowd? Man, I, I always have a blast whenever the crowd's cool like this. You know, I, I thrive off of loud crowds and, and big, you know, big loud noises. It just it, it gets me turned up, ready to fight every time. You got to spoke to Dana here for a second, man. What did you tell him? I told Dana that he missed my fight. He was 15 minutes late. He literally walked in the door as, as my, I was walking out of the cage. So, um, but he asked me, you know, what my record was. I told him eight and three now, and he was like, "Well, how was the fight?" And I said, "I won." I just dropped him like three times, and um, I said, "You know, I'm the I'm the biggest story around right now, and I'm, I'm on a winning streak, and I'm, you know, I'm I'm putting on exciting fights. So, you know, he's got he's got he's got to, you know, it'd be awesome to be a, a step up in the UFC." Man, uh, just just your story to be standing here, man. Real quick, if you want to tell us, you know. Uh, you know, if, if the doctors tell you, first of all, do what you want to do in life. Never listen to another person tell you what you can do or what you can't do. They told me to stay home, sit on the couch, and I was going to get fat and I was going to never fight again in my life. So do what you want to do, you know, no matter what. You know, always push forward. If you want to be a professional fighter, if you want to be a professional dirt bike rider, you know, a wrestler, whatever you want to be, go out there and do what needs to be done every single day and get it done. There you go, Colton Ewood, man. Appreciate your time, man. Congrats on the win. Thank you. Thank you so much.